come on to my channel um let's solve this on the board we are asked to solve for x in this particular equation now this is an exponential equation so we are going to approach this using laws of indices okay now first of all root x is the same thing as x raised to the power of half okay root x or root anything is same thing as that thing raised to the power of half that means that we can solve this as what 100 raised to the power of root x is equal to 1000 raised to the power of x raised to the power of half this is the same thing as 100 raised to the power of root x is equal to 1000 this multiplied this will give us x over 2 all right now let's put them in the same base let's put them in the same base we'll have what 10 to the power of 2 root x is equal to 10 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x over 2. So we can write this as what? When you have something like this, for example, a to the power of n raised to the power of m, okay? The same thing as a to the power of n times m. So let's apply that here. This can be written as 10 to the power of 2 times root x is 2 root x is equal to 10 to the power of 3 times x over 2 is 3x over 2. Okay, they have the same base. And once they have the same base, you can equate the powers. Okay, so we can now write that 2 root x is equal to 3x over 2. All right, now let's cross multiply. 2 times 2 root x will give us 4 root x is equal to 3x times 1 will give us 3x. All right. Now let's square both sides of this equation. Let's square both sides of this equation so that we can remove this root sign. So it's going to be 4 root x squared is equal to 3x squared. Now, 4 squared will give us what? 16. Root x squared will give us what? x is equal to 3 squared will give us 9. x squared is what? x squared. Okay. That means we can write this as what? 16x minus 9x squared is equal to 0. We can factorize x out. So write x brackets 16 minus 9x is equal to 0. So this means that we can write that x is equal to 0. Or 16 minus 9x is equal to 0. So let's solve the second one. This is already solved. So let's solve this one to get the value of x. If this is the first time you are coming across this channel, please don't forget to click on that subscription button and on your notification bell. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and share. Okay? And stay tuned because we are going to prove the solution that we got. So if we should solve this, let's take this to the other side of the equation. We will have that 16 is equal to 9x. If we should divide both sides of this equation by 9, we will have that x is equal to 16 over 9. Now, let's prove our solution. Let's prove our solution. The first one says that x equals 0, right? So that means that we can write that 100 raised to the power of square root of 0 is equal to what? Square root of 1,000 raised to the power of 0. Okay. This is the same thing as 100 square root of 0 is 0. 
is equal to square root of 1000 to the power of 0 is 1. Yes, is 1. Any number to the power of 0 is 1. 0 to the power of 0, tell me what it is in the comment section because there are so many controversy on that one. So 0 to the power of 0 is what? All right. Now, since we said that any number raised to the power of 0 is 1, that means this side is 1 is equal to square root of 1 is also what? 1. So the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. That means definitely 0 is a solution. Now let's prove the second one. Second one said that our x is equal to 16 over 9. This is where we need to do some mathematics in order to prove that, yes, x is 16 over 9. So let's do that. So we have 100 square root of 16 over 9 is equal to square root of 1000 raised to the power of 16 over 9. All right. So this can be written as 100 square root of 16 is 4 and square root of 9 is 3 is equal to this same thing as 1000 raised to the power of 16 over 9, everything raised to the power of half because of this square root sign. So 2, we divide itself to give you 1, and we divide 16 to give you 8. All right. So we have 100, 4 over 3 is equal to 1000, 8 over 9. They are not equal, right? No, they are not. So let's keep proving this. This is same thing as 10 to the power of 2, right? Raised to the power of 4 over 3 is equal to 1,000 is same thing as 10 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 8 over 9. Now, this can be written, the left-hand side of the equation can be written as 10 to the power of what? 2 times 4 is 8 over 3 is equal to 10 then 3, we divide this to give you 3, which will also give you 8 over 3. So the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Thank you so much for watching and still have a lovely day. Bye.